Hey guys, welcome back to Tomo's Tech. Today we're looking at the Stream Locator Hub, very kindly sent to me by Stream Locator to see what it's all about. Now what it is, is a router that acts like a VPN in terms of being able to stream services from different territories. So for example, if you want to get access to USA Netflix through your UK account, you can do that with this. And it comes in the form of a router rather than your sort of traditional VPN setup. So here you can see in the box, it is a dual band router. Uh, it offers streaming from different locations and it also offers gigabit ports on the back as well. So this can be run as your main router or in conjunction with an existing router, which is how I set it up and I'll show you that in a little bit. Now this is an unboxing video and having a first look at it and how it's set up. If you want any more videos on this item, then please let me know in the description below and I'll do my best to sort it out. And you'll see on the side of the box, it has very much the same as it does on the front. And on the back, which I quite like, is a very easy picture-based instruction of how to set this up. So as I mentioned before, you attach your router to the stream locator. You simply go to go.streamlocator.com and that will give you the options. You'll let you set it up and uh, set the passwords and that sort of thing. But I'll go into that in a bit more detail towards the end of the video. But yeah, very clear and easy instructions. Uh, one thing which with any networking product is it's a bit baffling of how complicated they can be. So it's really nice to have such a simple setup. So in the box, this is open. You'll see we have nicely packaged. We have the instruction manual, which is very much the same as what's on the box. Then we have the power brick which isn't too big actually, it's not bad. And that obviously connects to the power to the router. Nice UK plug. And then we have the actual router itself, which comes individually wrapped, which I always like to see. Nothing worse than receiving something with scratches all over it. Four beefy antennas, which is also very good to see. And some basic login information, which you'll need when you set this up for the first time. And then uh, ethernet cable as well obviously. And yeah, it's a nice looking unit. It's going to look good wherever you put it, really. I like the all white design and the very simplistic buttons on the front of it show uh, who's in use and uh, as you would expect from any router uh, and blinking green LEDs, and a nice logo in the center, not too imposing. It's very well designed. Then on the rear, you'll see it has a USB port as well, which is ideal. You have some mounting holes on the back. So if you want to attach this to the wall somewhere, you can do. And you have four gigabit Ethernet ports with a one port, which you can connect to your modem or router. I have this as a second network if you if you don't want to put your main traffic through it, but you can do if you if you want to. All in all, a very nice product. So here you see how I set it up. I set it up in addition to my existing mesh Wi-Fi router system um, to test it out. And you see it's just plugged in as another on the one to the stream locator and then from the router as well. And if you go to go.streamlocator.com, it'll take you through some very simple setup instructions. You'll be met with this and you can see it's very similar to what I set up earlier. Connect the router to the stream locator, click OK, and it'll ask you for the number on the back of the unit. And once you put that in, it will then go through a process of finding it and setting it up. This can take a few minutes, which did you catch me out, so just please be aware. And then ask you to set up your account, tomostechuk at gmail.com, which is my email address. And no, I'm not going to tell you my password. It'll ask you to set up the network, it's a password, and it'll come to the subscription service. Now, out of the box, this comes with 12 months subscription, so if you're worried about that, don't. that's not an issue. But you can sign up on a monthly, and it won't let you progress past this point unless you do so. So remember to set something in your diary if that's something you want to cancel in 12 months' time, or review, or pay annually. And that's it. You, you set up, and you click on Complete Setup, and you're ready to go. And then you're left with these drop-down menus to navigate so really simple, really easy, a lot, you know, a lot more straightforward than a VPN. So Netflix, for example, if we want to have some content from the US, you click on that and the router will save 
And no matter what service or what device is connecting through this router past this point, because it's got to go through this router and you set it to USA, it will come up with USA. So if you want to view USA content or you want to change it back into the UK, you can come back into it. But you see it has all the services there, such as Plex and Disney Plus, which are probably the most common in the UK, Disney Plus and Netflix at the moment. Once that's saved, gonna go over to Netflix. www.netflix.com And we're going to sign in as usual so nothing's changed. I've not done anything different than I would do normally. Select my profile. Just bring up content and you'll see top 10 in the US today. So immediately you've got us based content without having a vpn with no hassle it's just there it just works it's a very simple solution and i personally really like it thank you very much for streaming okay to send this to me and thank you very much for watching if you have any questions or queries please let me know in the comments below i'll see you again soon for another video